Preparing articles for upload. Uploading an article is actually just one of the final steps in the process of publishing back issues to B-Press. First, each article in each issue must be prepared for upload, and here lies most of the work. The first step, of course, is to digitize the articles, which can be done in various ways using various scanning equipment. Often the files are saved as PDFs, and this will be the type that we will be looking at in this video. If the PDFs contain more than one article, it is necessary to cut them apart so that each article is its own individual PDF. Doing so is easy, but it is essential to pay close attention and make sure that you keep only the right pages. It is good practice to back up all of the original digitized copies in case you accidentally save over the copy that you are working on. Here I have the original PDF and a folder into which I will save all of the articles. I will simply copy and paste the original into the Articles folder and keep this as a backup. Right-click or hold down the Control key and click if you are using a one-button Apple mouse, and select Copy, and then right-click on the folder and select Paste. Open the copy of the full issue and decide which article you are going to save first. Then open the page view either by clicking on the double page icon in the upper left corner or by going into the View menu and mousing over Navigation Panels and selecting Pages. This will bring up thumbnails on the left side of the page, one for each page in the PDF. Click on the thumbnail for the page before the first page of your chosen article, being very careful that it is the correct thumbnail, and then scroll up to the first page of the PDF. Hold down the Shift button and click on the thumbnail representing the first page of the article, and all the pages in between will be selected. If there is an error message or some other problem, you can always simply select one page at a time and follow the next steps, but this can be very time consuming. Now that you have all the pages before your article selected, right click on one of the selected thumbnails and choose Delete Pages. This option can also be found in the Edit menu. Click OK and all of those pages should then disappear. Scroll to the page after the last page of your chosen article and click on the thumbnail for it. Scroll down to the last page of the journal and shift click to select all the pages in between. Delete these pages as well and double check that you now have all, but only, the pages that you want. Saving is always a good idea after making a big change. In the file menu select save as, being careful not to click on save instead. The name should start with a two digit number followed by the author's last name, followed by the first few words in the title. Choose where you wish to save this issue, and click on Save. Now you can close it and open the full issue and repeat these steps on the next several articles you wish to work on. Now it is time to clean up the article. If there are any borderlines on the outer parts of the pages, they should be cropped off but it is important to make sure that all of the pages are the same size and that the content is centered in the page. In the Tools menu, mouse over Advanced Editing and select the Crop Tool. Click on any of the corners, and while holding the button down, drag the pointer diagonally to select the areas that you wish to keep. Make sure that you have centered the crop so that the borders around the content are approximately even. And leave some extra border space if at all possible. Hit the Enter key to bring up the dialog box. You may crop many pages in the same way, ensuring that they share the same size. Quickly scroll through to ensure that none of the pages were cropped poorly. If you have digital copies of images that appear in the article which look better than the scanned versions in the PDF, it is a good idea to use these rather than to keep the not-so-pretty versions. This can be accomplished by opening the Tools menu, mousing over Advanced Editing, and selecting the Touch Up Object tool. Hover the mouse over the image that you would like to replace and left click to select it. Then right click and select Place Image. Choose the image that you would like to use. It has to be in JPEG format, TIFFs will not work. And either double click on it or click the Open button. The new image will sit on top of the old and may be resized or moved if need be. Now it is time to ensure that the articles are text searchable. In the Document menu, mouse over OCR Text Recognition and select Recognize Text Using OCR. Click on OK and after a few minutes the text of your PDF should be selectable, copyable, and searchable. If you have a master list of keywords for the project, open it and go through the abstract finding any other words that would make good article specific keywords. Then in the File menu, select Properties. 
Here you will be able to fill in any information that you would like. Keywords can be copied from the master list and the article specific list you made previously. Click on OK and be sure to save the PDF. It is now ready for upload.